Welcome to PRConnectionsRadio.com, the voice of new media. And my name is Guy Dawson. I'm the managing member of Classic Communications, a full service public relations and marketing company. And I am really looking forward to a project that PRConnectionsRadio.com is embarking upon. We are going to start showcasing successful women in many different aspects of their lives. Many of you might be familiar with the phrase women of influence, how popular it's becoming and how women are being so empowered in business and other areas of life and uh, what we want to do with this podcast as well as written blog uh, platform is to start to showcase very successful women and I'm looking forward to doing my first interview today and it is with Dr. Elena Pazzini and she is a doctor in applied psychology. Welcome to the PR Connections radio show Elena. Thank you so much Guy. I'm very honored to be here. I'm Italian-American so I do have an accent, and I keep it so that your audience pays close attention. How does that sound? <laughs> and who doesn't appreciate a wonderful Italian accent? Uh, yes, I think that you're not going to have any trouble keeping everyone's attention. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Elena and I met a couple of years ago. I was attending a personal development sem seminar in Hawaii, and she did a Zoom call-in uh, from the mainland where she was talking about some strategies to, to help you be uh, wealthier and more successful. And there were some tips that she shared at that event that I have been implementing in my life ever since. It had such an impact on the way that I look at money. And I, I'm constantly reminding her, I, I just can't tell you how much I appreciate some of the things that she talked about that day. And um, I, I wanna talk more about how a woman like her influences people because she is definitely someone uh, who has an influence on the lives of a lot of uh, people. And, and Elena, what does being a, a woman of influence mean to you? That's a great question. And um, I, think, I think every living being has the capacity of being a human, a living being of influence, all they need to do is, number one, be passionate about what they believe in, and two, let other people know what it is. So in my case, I'm passionate about freedom that comes in different forms. Uh, number one, freedom to live and work or, or, or be anywhere on the planet, or maybe even in other planets now, uh, that you desire. I am um, of Italian descent, and I've always believed that we have to decide where we wanna be in the world. And very early on, I was fixated, <laughs> I can remember, as early as age 13, I just knew that my calling was in the United States. Um, for different reasons, with, with just I like the diversity in the United States. I like how uh, people overall were more open to change and had a broader mindset. Whereas, at least at the time in Italy, you know, we were all white, we were all Catholic, we were all, you know, <laughs> no, no diversity. So, so freedom of, um, of, of living wherever you want to. And so that's one of, I'm very passionate about that. And so in my, with my clientele, I do teach how to get there with the different resources and methodologies that I, um, that I did get certified um, in. And I do work with people from all over the planet. So I do be, and I do encourage each one of them, just like Guy, to, to, to spread to spread their expertise, knowledge is power, and this is the only way we truly can become free, free to be wherever we want to, to do whatever we want to, and have whatever we want to. And as someone who mentors and coaches people, Elena, you really are shaping them into becoming people of influence. What are some of the strategies that you use to get people to recognize how great they are and how they can contribute uh, to the planet through the strategies uh, that you employ as a coach? That's an excellent question. So <clears throat> we all know it, we all deep inside know 
have the answers to have all the answers and nobody else so i have my answers you guy have your own answers and they're deep inside of you a good coach is just a good coach or professional uh, it doesn't have to be just a coach it can be a mentor a confidant a, a consultant but let's just say a good uh, a good expert is is trained to to probe you to ask you enough questions and be patient until you finally dig it out of you and when you do it's like the light bulb goes off and your literally your your fa facial expression changes your energy changes your voice changes and who's listening to you can tell and you can tell too so some people have some vague have some ideas of of what their purpose on this earth in this lifetime is some they, they i think they do know i i knew it since um age five and what happens though is that we sometimes we're not encouraged and we are the opposite of encouraged we are um dissuaded mm -hmm. We are from pursuing our dream. It can be a teacher, it can be a parent, it can be a friend, it can be a sibling. So we repress it and 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 then we're afraid to go back to our to those dreams, to those big dreams that we had big down in our hearts. So so for me it was always about education and and the human mind it was always about that i was i, w I was always interested in understanding live and i don't want to say just human because i do a lot of work with animals as well so any living beings mind and even plants have a mind of their own and i think we're seeing it right now with all these climate changes and what's happening in australia and everywhere in the world you know nature has a mind of its own and uh, and we have to help that mind if uh, if we want to uh protect our environment you know the odd thing for me where we're talking about all this women of influence is, is such a catchphrase nowadays as if this is something new i mean women are the actual mothers of the earth the people that produce all of us why do you think now this that this is becoming something that is so promoted and talked about women have always been influential what what has changed that has kind of started to highlight the true influence that women have on the lives of everyone well that's a good question so without getting political or um <laughs> uh, or taking sides i mean it it is a fact it's history that women we just started being allowed to go to school get an education vote always later always later be 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 being in charge of being uh being a c-suite you know um executives or ceos or um that was unheard of 50 years ago you know we weren't even voting i believe back then so so we we got started a little late um and yes, I mean, you know, we, luckily we live on the Western side of the world where, where um, more or less we have equal rights, not just men and women, but among races, among, among different sexual preferences. But let's face it, there are places not far away from us um, in the Middle East, in Asia, where it's still not okay to be a woman. You're, you're like, let in china some places in the mainland you are let out to die if you if you if you're not born a male to carry on the the title or the heritage or um you know in uh, in uh, in some places in iran um, i mean without pinpointing just we, <laughs> women are not are still not allowed to get an education not allowed to show their face and they don't have i've i've worked with with some of those women and it's it's i don't i don't know it's mindset it's um it's political so it's education it boils down to education they don't even have the internet to to research on their own and if they're able to get the internet they're still brainwashed by their local laws and and politicians and so it we, we still have a long way to go i think that's why it's such 
is still so trendy because there is still so much work to do. We haven't arrived. We just scratched the surface. I believe. What do you think, Guy? Yeah, I agree. I think that just starting to acknowledge uh, the power. I mean, women outnumber men on the planet by a lot <laughs> of people. And so just in, in terms of sheer numbers, you, you're at an advantage. Not to mention, again, we can't get here unless one of you bursts us. <laughs> so I, I've always thought that, um, you know, women have, as far as being influential, I mean, how can you be more influential than, than being someone who actually makes sure that we exist as a species? <laughs> yeah. And, I, you know, I think also that in, in these times, there's a lot more uh, acknowledgement of, of the intelligence of women, the contributions that women have made to our society in other ways, not just the fact that you, you have kids that you uh, have in, influenced us in finance and education and in every, really every aspect of, of life. You know, they, they say that behind every man is a great woman. And I think we've, we've seen that time and time again, there's always, that seems to always be true. It, it may not necessarily be uh, the man's wife. It could be his mother or it could be a sister, but it's basically, I have found that to be true is that every, every man who becomes great had some woman who believed in him. And I mean, that is a tremendous uh, place of power and influence is being able to do that. Yeah. Well, who knows? I've read, I've read articles that in the future, men may be able to carry children. It is possible with the evolvement of medicine. Trust me, no guy is going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> but regardless, you know, male, female, I see everybody as the same. Well, I, should not, I shouldn't say any guy. I know I personally... There, I mean, wow, no way. <laughs> but I'm sure there are men out there who are nurturing and actually probably really would enjoy caring. Too. <laughs> yeah, who knows? But regardless, we, we all have something to contribute, whether you come in a male body or female body or who knows, you know, we all have something to contribute. And um, absolutely, even, even animals, you know, so, sorry to bring them up again, but, you know, they do help us a lot. Um, and you met, you met some of my animals guy at, um, um, even at one even came a business with a heart last year. So they have, we are not utilizing how intelligent they are. For instance, dogs, dogs have so many six senses and, the police has just started using them a little bit, but there is so much more they can do. They, um, they, can, detect, they can detect somebody who's going to have a seizure. Um, um, they can detect somebody who, who's sick, you know, who uh, way before medicine can detect it, like somebody with cancer or preliminary cancer, some dogs can smell can, can sm because the body changes and way before um, the machine tells you, you know. So it's, it's amazing. It's amazing uh, what um, the power of living beings and, and if we really believe that everybody can contribute somehow, then we, we, <laughs> it will be a more peaceful, happier place. And we do have to work together. I mean, right now it's pretty scary with uh, what's happening in, o in Australia. If you look at it from above, the whole continent is red. You know, we really have to join forces internationally, globally to, to do something, to do something for our future generations. We all have to brainstorm how to be more, more eco-friendly and um, greener. And we really have to put our minds and hearts together. This has to be a collective global movement. Not one person will be able to, to fix the problem for the future generations. And part of what you do in business is, is coaching people to achieve higher levels of success. And in, in a world of, of turmoil and change, what are your thoughts about as you had mentioned a few minutes ago, we have things that are beyond our control, like these fires in Australia. What can an individual woman do to be more of influence and how will that affect the planet in a positive way? Sure, so I do work with a global market. So 
today alone I, I work with um, a few Australian if, uh, clients. <laughs> That's why um, it's fresh in my mind and plus it's all over the news and the Golden Globes yesterday. So, <clears throat> well, anybody really has to be global nowadays. You know, it's, it's 2020, it's the internet era. So if you have a message, thanks to some marketing geniuses like you, Guy, then then we just have to be everywhere. We have to be, we have to be on the internet. We have to be on all social media. We need to be on our website, um, but strategically, strategically, so that the message is straight to the point and, and it's uh, an active message that, that, um, that um, encourages others to take actions as well. You know? So a powerful, positive and inspiring message. So, um, so, so I have, you know, a, a book can be a medium, but then the book also has to be an ebook, has to be an audio book, just uh, what we're doing right now, audio sessions, because some people, that's all they have time to listen to audio while they're maybe commuting to work. So, um, so I think it, any, any woman, I mean, I, I work with them. Um, everybody's got something to contribute, you know. So basically, my specialty is business coaches, and I do, I do um, push every person I work with to start their own business if they haven't. So one person overcame just from the top of my head overcame um, seizures actually with the power of coconut oil and she uses it for different things uh, and and to have a balanced diet so I helped her <clears throat> publish a book on Amazon on how she did it naturally another woman overcame ten tendinitis can never pronounce it correctly when you hear the buzz in your ear tinnitus <laughs> yeah, you're close enough. <laughs> you're finally. He overcame it naturally too with some herbs. So I said, you have to, you have to spread that message. You have to put that message out. Um, I have, I coach actually um, at least 10 doctors that, that they have different specialties. Some are more holistic. Some use some energy methods that work really well for, for the mind. And so I encourage them to, um, to uh, put it out there in the world using any mean they want to. Some of them get scared because, you know, technology changes so fast and they're not used to it, but I just push them to, to get out there, do Facebook Live, do, uh, and even if they make mis mistakes, who cares? You know, they'll, they'll get better, but they just have to put their message out there in any way they can think of. And if they, they mis make mistakes, they'll correct and perfect it later. Um, can give you many examples. Um, um, one of them, the one from Australia, is in botany. Botany, uh, so gardening, and 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 so there are ways to with pairing up different flowers and plants to actually reduce the global warming. And and so that's he should be doing that right now because that's solving a problem that we really have very tangible. Um, another one, uh, just from today alone, he's a special, he's a, a master in uh, systems, in creating systems to systematize and automatize businesses. And, um, and so, so even, um, so for him, uh, so, and by the way, I do, I do masterminds with these people and they're free right now. The, the next mastermind is, um on Wednesday, if you want to come, it's another woman, a producer in Hollywood. And, um, and she's, um, she's talking about how to, um, to overcome adversities. Her, her uh, house in, um, in California was flooded and she lost it completely. And uh, some of what's happening right now with these disasters. So anybody has overcome something and he has worked and they definitely have to spread it out there in, uh, in, in the world. So yeah, I answered the question. You did. And one <laughs> thing you hit on that I thought was really important is that we are living in times that allow you to be much more influential than you could be in the past because we have these 
these tools, digital marketing, the internet, social media. There are just so many ways what we're doing here right now, webinars and podcasts. These are vehicles that have only really come into existence in maybe the last 20 years for us to utilize. But just imagine what we can do. And I think we're just really scratching the surface. You know they're going to come up with other ways uh, as we go along uh, to be able to, to market yourself and to present uh, your message to other people. So yes, I think that I agree. Absolutely, I agree with you that we have more mechanisms uh, to be an influential person today uh, than we ever have in history. So Elena, I appreciate having the opportunity to do an interview with you. You are my first woman of influence. And if there is one tip that you could share that will make a person more influential, specifically a woman, because that's what this show is about, women of influence, what would it be? Well, number one, um, get a good coach if you don't have one. <laughs> and, and you can ask us for advice. It doesn't have to be me or Guy, but like uh, somebody who can really support, um, support your dreams that has been wherever you have, you want to be already so that that can guide you and you can get there much faster without headache or heartache. Um, <clears throat> and definitely, definitely, definitely figure out what your passions are as of today, not five years ago, 10 years ago, or 10 years from now, as of today, figure out what they are. If you need tools, ask us and, and just, Chase that, chase what your heart tells you. Don't chase the money. Money always comes when you follow what you truly love. That was some outstanding advice. And I totally agree with you. When you are so engaged in what you're doing and you're, you're good at it. And when you're good at things, people want to hire you. And that's why you make money. And so that was an excellent point. And will you share with the audience how they can get in contact with you for your consultation and coaching services? Thank you. Sure. And we'll, uh, we have a lot of free resources that you can uh, sample um, if, you, if you're not ready to buy. And um, is uh, the website. <clears throat> I'll type it here. Uh, here, maybe I can even put a, a rename. Is you have got the power.com. Here we go. It's going to show in my banner. You have got the power.com. You and see? I am looking forward to an event that Elena, if you might want to mention it, that you're going to be hosting in your native Italy this upcoming summer. It'll be the first time that I've ever gone there. Maybe people would be interested in learning about that. Sure, definitely. So you find all the information at youhavegotthepower.com. So Guy and I will be hosting a, a what we call the leadership retreat of the decade. And I think Italy and that particular place in Italy where I grew up is one of the most charming and enchanting places. It feels like being in a fairy tale that never ends is um, on the biggest lake of Italy that influenced and inspired some of the biggest writers in the world, in history, including Shakespeare. We will be doing yoga on the lake, yoga with dogs called Doga. We will be doing uh, leadership through horses. We will be making our own wine from scratch. All the food is going to be farm to table, completely biodynamic, sustainable, and organic, super fresh. Um, we will have a lot of uh, influential people from all over the world, everyone in different niches, bringing their own methodologies that has changed their life for the better and presenting. Let's see, we will do, be doing live masterminds. We will be having some fun too, some dancing, uh, visioning inside the castles, and, um, and uh, probably even some camping under the stars because it's, it's the perfect month of the year for that. Yes, I'm looking forward to going to Italy. I was just in Europe for the first time a couple of months ago, and what a different experience it is. You know, you, Elena, you were talking about being from Italy and coming to the United States and really wanting 
embracing the diversity that we have here. And I agree, I, I believe in our diversity, but there's something about being in Europe where it is really old. <laughs> and the art is unbelievable. And the way that the cities look and the streets and just the, the whole mentality of the people they have in, in Paris, you know, they have the, the sidewalks, which I'm sure they probably have in Italy, where you have fresh fruit that is out on the sidewalk. I mean, like things that you used to see in the United States many years ago, those things are still ex in existence in, in Europe. And again, I've, I've never been to uh, Italy before and I'm, I'm excited for the opportunity to, uh, to be there, to be a part of the workshop and to con uh, continue to grow, Elena. Fantastic. Uh -huh. Same here, and, I, and I'm also continuously growing. And thank you, Guy, for, for this great opportunity. Uh, your audience is fantastic. And um, any, anybody we can help <clears throat> become more influential, then we all win. This is the first broadcast of Women of Influence, and it was with Dr. Elena Pazzini. She is a doctor in applied psychology, and again, as I had mentioned before, this is the beginning of a series of broadcasts that are going to highlight women who are successful in a variety of industries, in politics, in medicine, in education, in sports, and many other areas. Please stay tuned for more of these broadcasts. We'll also be putting out a lot of updates, this broadcast in particular at PR Connections, a radio on Facebook, and you can also go to PR Connections on SoundCloud uh, to hear the audio podcast uh, of this interview. Take care of yourselves. Look forward to getting together with you soon for another broadcast at prconnectionsradio.com, the voice of new media. Thank you.